Good morning, everybody. I am up and at it again. It's supposed to be a holiday. I did actually sleep in for a change, which is rare for me. It's like 7.30. I rolled out of bed this morning. So, yeah, probably because I'm my brain thinks it's a work day and then messed me all up. So, at least I got to sleep in a little bit. So, I'm going to show you all a project that I've been getting into uh, last two days. This is my son's Toyota Camry. It's a 2003 Toyota Camry. And he decided to upgrade and get um, a brand new vehicle. So he upgraded to a 20, I think that's a 2018 or a 2019 Jeep Wrangler. Um, super nice. Because he called me one day and said, Dad, my car stopped. So I went to him and I determined that, hey, the 2003 had a blown head gasket. So this is what we're into. Blown head gasket, uh, rebuild kit me rebuilding it was 144 dollars but he decided that um he just would rather have a new one which is fine got no problems with that you know it's your money you do what you want to do so i am in the process of rebuilding this thing um, because to start with we were just going to junk it uh, we hadn't really decided what we wanted to do um he told me if i if i decided to fix that all up i could sell it and you know use the money for something but we're actually going to give it to a family member now uh, so they're the one paying to uh, help me get it fixed up so now i am in the rebuild stage so let me show you what i got going what i'm trying to do is take the head bolts off which are stupid stuck by the way i was on it last night for a little bit i'm trying to pull them off and they're these 12 point bits and they're coated in wool i don't know if the camera's picking that up or not but they're coated in freaking wool so they're not popping out smooth like they're supposed to. They're a pain in the butt, really. Um, so I had to go get a, a new 12-point bit. So this is a 2003. The head bolts on this thing, if anybody wants to know, are actually a 12-millimeter, not an 8-millimeter. Um, there's a bunch of YouTube out there saying it's 8-millimeter. That is false. They are a 12-millimeter, 12-point. Make sure you do get a 12-point. Um, and then I've got four of them they're all loose but but four actually i think just two now um before i decided hey let me film this um that are stuck so you have to actually cap this on with a hammer to get a good bite down inside there and then you can break them free um using a breaker bar and then uh get ready to put this thing back together but i've already cleared the exhaust i've already cleared the valve pan covers the intake is loose as best as I can tell most of the intake is loose now the way I've got to drop the fuel rail and I've got to move some of the components over here off the block itself just so that I can crack the block loose but this is a fun little project and I like to tinker I don't know if y'all know me or not but I'm mechanic -y like crazy I love to work on something so let's see uh really nice clean interior it's up for 2003 man this thing is stupid nice you know he, uh, it was gave to him by a friend, and they kept it in good shape, but this is what all we got going here. So you got your timing chain covers that I had to pull off, you got your cams, your pulleys and all, so these are all your tensioners and all. There's your valve pan cover, so I had to strip out quite a bit of stuff out of this thing to get what I need done. So it's all kind of laid out in somewhat pattern. Um, Make sure I can put it all back together and then I'm gonna get everything cleaned up and uh, try to see if I can get this thing to run. But I gotta finish getting the head off so that I can go get it checked because I know it ran hot. I'm pretty damn certain that was the problem because it shut off on him. I went up there and tried to, uh, oh, that's already loose. That's already loose. That's loose. That one's loose. That one's loose. Damn, yeah, I think I only got one more then actually because that was the trouble one right there. Um, the it was severely stuck. Took me a few minutes to get that one off, and then when I did, I had to go inside and get my daughter to help me get the dang tool off the socket because it was on so tight I couldn't get it off. Yeah, this is the only one left. I don't know if I can get this on and do the camera um, because this wiring is all in the freaking way. I don't even feel like stripping a whole lot of wiring because wiring is always fun to figure out where the hell it goes back to. Um, most of the time it's a pretty much a only only gonna plug into one spot. So you don't have to worry about it too much. Yes, we definitely have a rat or a squirrel or something living on top of this engine block. Or, let me rephrase that. He was living on top of this engine block. He ain't happy now, that's for sure. Because yeah, I've been beating in here, beating and banging and making racket. 
Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to pop that on with a hammer too. That's kind of tight. Yeah, let me, uh, I gotta start using a different camera for filming. I gotta get my GoPro back up and a little Gideon Wasp that I own. I got it mounted to my motorcycle right now, so that's why I can't use it right this second because I tried to mount it to my bike last night. So it's still mounted to the bike for right this minute. So I'm gonna see what kind of view do y'all get right there. Huh? Ah! Y'all don't get a view right there. The, the car said, nope, I don't like that. Ooh, let's see. Oh, there's a cool little sideways angle. Y'all like that? Yeah, that's 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 special. You get the cool sideways angle. So you say, Bleep! see sideways angle. Uh, shit. Oh, there it is. All right. So what you got to do is make sure that before you beat that damn thing on there, that you actually have it somewhat lined up so it doesn't strip it as it goes down, which feels like it's right there. And just give it a couple little love taps. There you go. You'll know real quick if it bites or not. If it goes in like it's supposed to or not, you'll know. It'll give itself away. Actually, I think this is the last one holding this up. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is the last one holding this up. And then we're going to use the good old cheater bar. Definitely need that. So these damn things are stupid torqued on tight. Come on, little fella. Give it to me. There she goes. There she goes. Uh, some of these are actually on there like they're supposed to be, apparently. I've had two of them come off like really, really freaking easy. That's scary. So that could be some of the problem, too, because two of them really broke off way easier than they should have. Um, possibility on why the head gasket blew, maybe. But these engines are known for doing that. These are these uh, the 2AZ engines. Uh, the 2AZ engines are notorious for having uh, blown head gasket problems. And that joker is coated in oil. I mean, it's floating in watery oil. So you see that? See how it's kind of, I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not, but this, this washer on the end of this is watery looking. You shouldn't have that at all. Like, at all. So it's a good sign that we definitely have a blown head gasket because that is a milky look. Bad, 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 bad for engines. Shouldn't have that at all. So, yeah. Probably the problem. I'm sure of it. Rebuild kit. I already found the kit at uh, O'Reilly's. Actually, sells the kit. Rebuild kit. If anybody's curious about that, $144. Um, I didn't get it last night because I was on the motorcycle and I couldn't get it. It just wouldn't fit in the bag. So uh, sometimes the downsides to owning a motorcycle is you can't get everything to fit. Yeah. And of course you're stuck. Why wouldn't you be? Gimme. Yeah, I might have to take this in and get my daughter's assistance on this as well, too. Because she is not wanting to come loose. Yep. Normally I can tap them back and forth, y'all, and then it'll pop off. But uh, this one is, uh, it's like the other one. It's on there. But I did have to beat it down pretty tight to get it to break the bolt loose. So, we're going to go in and get assistance to take this off. And then, uh... Let me move y'all a little closer. Um, and then we're going to uh, finish uh, finish breaking this thing down. Um, my camera crew is still asleep this morning. Uh, we weren't even up that late playing video games. I think we were up to like midnight playing video games. Um, and then he, he bailed on me and said, I'm going to bed. I was like, well, crap. I'm, uh, I'll play for a little bit longer and then I'll go. So, um, so I was up for a little bit and then uh, decided to... Go ahead and get a jump start on this before it gets too hot today. Because I got to clean up. I got a couple little piles that I left to clean up. And then I'm going to um, mow the grass today. But there's still like two or three uh, limb piles that I cut down from the cleaning process from a while back. Yeah, I got my pellet rifle out here because the car's got squirrels in it. So I've been uh, squirrel hunting. So let me... Uh, let me go in. My daughter's up. She was the one that helped me get the bolt off the one while ago. I let her use the hammer. She thinks that's pretty cool to use the hammer beat tools off for me. 
So I'm gonna let her go try to get that socket off. And then I'm gonna come out here and see if I got everything else loose so that I can crack the block off or the head off. Pretty sure everything's loose and freed now. So all I'm gonna do is come in here and lightly pry up on it. Probably use the breaker bar up inside there and just break the seal. Doesn't take much to get it to, you know, kind of give loose. Um, I just want to make sure you don't mess up the, the exhaust ports or anything like that. So we're going to uh, get that free and I will post another video showing you the pistons and what everything else looks like. Because I'm going to pull the oil pan, look up inside the engine and make sure nothing else is damaged while I've already got it this far. I really don't want to, you know, just half-ass it. I'd rather make sure that everything is legit and fixed and good to go. So let me go uh, finish getting this tool off because it is stuck, stuck. And then uh, we'll come back and I might give y'all another video once I get this popped off.